the question of parental rights for people with disabilities is critically important. And I'm learning a lot that I didn't know about just how dire the situation still is in this country. Next up, Kimberly Tissot from South Carolina, who is one of the leaders of that change. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about your story and how you came to be addressing this question of parental rights in South Carolina? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm the executive director of ABLE South Carolina, which is a center for independent living. And um, I'm also a parent of a child. Um, and the fight to become a mother was very difficult. Um, did some infertility, uh, surrogacy, all kinds of stuff that did not work. And by the time I was ready to really say, we need to look at adoption, we went over to our state's um, child welfare system and, and I wanted to, to pursue adoption and they told me that I could not pursue adoption because of my disability. Simple as that. Simple as that, simple as that. No, did not look at any other financial backgrounds, anything. It's, said no right at my appearance. Um, and so they did not know who they were messing <laughs> with. Um, and so I ended up um, you know, advocating obviously to, to adopt and, and we did end up adopting, which is great. But as a center director, I kept hearing these stories as well of pe people not either having their children re removed because of their disability or not being able to pursue foster care or adoption. What about um, giving birth? Oh yes, there's a lot of discrimination in the um, reproductive health system, um, even being able to get any kind of assisted reproductive uh, assistance as well. A lot of doctors don't understand if you have any type, type of physical disabilities or intellectual disabilities, I mean any disability, they do not understand how you're going to be able to not only give birth, carry pregnancy, but also deliver. Um, we've seen a lot of situations where parents with a variety of different disabilities, the nurses will walk in after the child is born and immediately called Department of Social Services um, and, and, and the child was removed at birth. And sterilization abuse? Oh yes, that's, that's unfortunately, people think that that's gone away but it, it looks differently now. Um, you know, women are getting hysterectomies very early on the recommendation of their doctors um, because of uh, not thinking that they can procreate. And their choices in those areas? There's we talk no about choices reproductive a lot choice? Of times. No choices a lot of times. So clearly we need to reset our discussion around reproductive rights and right. sterilization abuse. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What did you do in South Carolina? So we were able to pass the Persons with Disabilities Right to Parent Act, which is a law that prohibits any type of discrimination on the basis of disabilities for parents. Um, it protects their rights when they go to be a foster care, uh, foster parent, it protects their rights to adopt and also uh, protects their any uh, birth, birth children as well. So they cannot have their child removed on the basis of disability. Our state used to have a law that said that because you have a disability, any type of disability, you can have your child removed. So the law that you've passed, does it come with education for people in the institution, in the medical yeah, institutions? Absolutely. So what we're doing a lot of, of, of course, we, we passed a law. That's just a law. We have to do much more work than that. So we're working with our Department of Social Services very closely, help them with creating policies and procedures for working with parents with disabilities and perspe prospective parents with disabilities. We're also working with uh, the medical facilities to educate, working with attorneys, um, judges a lot of times, because judges have that opinion as well that parents uh, who have disabilities cannot possibly parent. Yeah. Um, so we're doing a lot of education uh, across the sy system. And then also educating um, people with disabilities. If, if you want to become a parent, you go do it. Let's, let's, get this, let's make this happen because that disability should never pre prevent you from doing anything.